The outlook appears bleak for protecting Louisiana's ecologically rich wetlands from a massive oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. This Oceana scientist says the techniques being used to clean up the spill are in the experimental stage, meaning they may work or they may not. We're in what we call a lose-lose situation. None of the options they're looking at are great. There really is no good way to handle this type of a spill. One method already tried, the Coast Guard has set controlled fires to burn the oil off the water's surface. Some oil has reportedly started to ooze into the coastal marshes, and faint fingers of oily sheen have begun reaching the Mississippi River Delta. Meantime, many of the barrier islands at the mouth of the Mississippi River have been wrapped with floating containment booms like these. They're expected to hold back the oil, literally a last line of defense. Failure means devastating results for wildlife along the Gulf Coast. There are four sea turtles in the Gulf of Mexico, four different species of sea turtles in the Gulf of Mexico, and all four are endangered or threatened, uh, which means that they can't really afford much more of an insult, much more stress uh, if they expect to survive as a population. And there's no telling the economic toll this will take on the seafood industry in the Gulf. When it comes to fish, um, you know, the Gulf of Mexico is like the fish basket of America. There are a lot of fish down there. Is there going to be a perception about Gulf seafood that people don't want to eat it because they're worried that it's tainted with oil? The leak from the blown out well a mile underwater is five times bigger than first believed. More than 200,000 gallons of oil a day are spewing from the side of the rig. Myra Lopez, The Associated Press.